How would the people react to the free public transport? Um, well, I think the, the increase in demand was such that people clearly wanted it. Um, we carried out research beforehand and during the, the period that the um, free fares were, were, were running um, and people said they'd use bus, public transport more. They did come because it was free, at least quite a number of them did. And I think the, the, the consequence of that is that um, the Minister has now decided to continue the scheme for another year so we can see whether this pattern continues uh, and whether we increase further the, uh, the demand for um, public transport. Our scheme was in a rural area and in a holiday area and um, so most of our travellers were leisure travellers. Um, we have some commuters who use the services regularly but the big increase was in leisure use uh, for a variety of reasons. Some people even change their day of travel to go shopping, particularly those who weren't working during the week, to travel free on the, on the Saturday uh, and the Sunday. But all people over 60 in Wales can travel free on the buses at any time. So it wasn't that market that we looked at. It was the, 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 the market segment that we uh, expected to get the increase from um, were those people who were in work under 60 and therefore making either changing from car to, to bus or changing their day of travel mm -hmm. so that they could travel back and forth free. Okay, so have you seen Tallinn public tra transport, uh, buses, trams and what kind of impression has it made? Oh good, I, I got here yesterday, I arrived at the airport, there was a tram uh, every eight minutes I think outside the airport which took me, and I, I, I had instructions on which bus numbers to get. That took me to just by the Viru Hotel. I changed there onto a number 21, either 20, 21, 40 and 41 I could have taken. One of those came along within about two minutes and that dropped me off outside the hotel. Uh, I mean, I couldn't ask for more. Um, everything, when public transport works, it works really well. But the frequency of the services is clearly part of the secret uh, here. I certainly found it very easy. Um, the only point I would make, which I think it's, it probably will help people coming in through the airport, is that a big sign is put up at the, at the kiosk, mm -hmm. uh, at the exit from the airport to the tram, mm -hmm. saying you can buy your five-day, three-day yeah. uh, little green card there, mm -hmm. which is a really good value ticket, because the single journey is two euro, mm -hmm. but when I saw that, that five days were six euro, I thought, well, this is something that should really be advertised because for most people they're not familiar with public transport so they'll go to the taxi and you come out from the arrivals area in the airport the taxis are in front of you so public transport is immediately at a disadvantage um, when you get to the public transport you know you have to pay and it's finding out how to pay now I think most people at this conference are experts in public transport um, I always go to see how the system works um, and it didn't it wasn't obvious where you could get these tickets. So something as simple as that. Um, the other is um, the, a public transport map. Again, they're not freely available. They're online, but most people wouldn't know it. I wouldn't know where to go online. But if they were there, even for sale, um, I'd buy a public transport map because it would then help me get around Tallinn. And I'm staying until Monday, so I want to travel around the city by public transport. And I have my little green card.